right now apart from the fact that my hair keeps unraveling which now is getting better finding a lotion that is available to match my work schedule and also i can see some progress with how the hair is looking <laughs> Um, at first, I kept wondering when exactly this hair is going to look, how long it's going to take, really. But I just want to have that in my mind so I know how I deal with the hair. But they still look like they can unravel at any time. Uh, I've even been able to unravel some of them, especially those that um, were too big or had some issues. I had to undo them and do do them all over again and I see I think I mentioned it last time that I see some burden this one's eye but um, this for example this for example okay And it's confusing because the parts at the back here are the ones that unravel the most. Yet, these ones, this, there's another one there too. So they are the lowermost portion of the hair. They have rather decided to lock. And then the next step are rather unraveling. <laughs> and these ones are the ones I recently installed when they unraveled. I just twisted them up so they're still smooth and easily unravelable <laughs> if that's a word um see there's another one here there's another one here and this one i didn't even understand what's going on here i don't know how this i got this big bad here but i'm just going to leave it alone so i don't damage the hair I think this was one of the reasons why my locations didn't want me to get um, very tiny hair because they were worried that I'm going to lose some of the hair. The good thing about the front right now is that they've not exactly locked. Okay, they haven't really locked. I can't undo them. You can even see the, you can see the twist that I make. When I was installing it, right? I can easily undo it, but they don't unravel spontaneously. They never unravel. I rub my hair, I rub my hand in my hair every time, but they never unravel. Look at this. Okay, see? They've not really locked. You get this? So very elastic, you know, but they never unravel. That's one thing i'm very happy for so, so far what has happened is that um i see where the retires were done at so if you look let's say if you take this hand for example you see that this side from here from the base here okay here to there somewhere there here See that it's quite thin and smooth but getting to the end it's kind of thicker slightly and more rough you notice maybe i should use another one to show you what i'm talking about all right so notice how the base from here to there is kind of smooth all right and it's tinier then when you come to the end they are rough and thicker okay and that's because that side the smooth side i just showed you are the areas that were retired right so that's like my new growth and then the ends on the thicker side is the side that i installed by myself with a twist when you twist up the hair it kind of like feels it looks thicker like it swells up quicker than if you 
interlock it you know interlocking makes it look smooth and kind of smaller than if you just twist it up you know and it will take a time before the interlock side also swell up to match the ends that are also looking thicker so right now kind of like giving my hair two different um I say two different diameters so from the base to somewhere in between it's looking thin and then from the in between end <laughs> to the end of the hair completely is thicker okay, so let's use this for example notice how these side okay they're smoother that is the place that's the side that was interlocked for my new growth and then look at the end see how thick it is All right so that's what i'm trying to talk about and it's like that throughout the hair except the back except here that i recently if you didn't watch that video you can use this link to watch it where i redid the back all over again by myself because they were unraveling here they are all right so um this goes to say that I have new growth, right? So the new growth is more than an inch, obviously. I'm going to put up my progress video later, but I just want you to see this, guys. Look, so from here to there, I'm not sure if it's clear enough for you, but see. So this is this side you're seeing here here this one okay that is where my twist starts from where I installed rings because this is it this is, this is a thick side then from this side to the base all oh, this is the new growth and that's almost two inches the other thing is apart from the weird combination of how the hair at the end, at the back, the lowermost part of the back, have locked. You can't undo them. They don't unravel. And then next to them are unraveling. <laughs> and then these eyes are not unraveling. They're staying put. The fronts, unfortunately, keep unraveling. All right. Now I'm just leaving them alone. I actually combined... Here, I combine this particular one here because it keeps unraveling. So if you notice, it's thicker. The base is even thicker than the rest. All right, see, it's unraveling here. Yeah. Because this was one strand, and it's all gone. <laughs> uh, here too, same. See? <laughs> totally unraveled. And then here almost done unraveling <laughs> so that's what's going on right now and i'm dealing with it i'm trying to just redo them when they unravel i totally understand because they're shorter and water tends to go to that side more i sweat on that side also more so obviously the rubbing the water going there and all of that makes it unravel but hey i'll manage the middle part here that's around my crown area they're good they don't unravel they're actually budding or they are thickening up okay now you notice that the twist pattern is almost gone out of it which is good news right do you see that they're almost gone even though if you remove if you like separate one of them completely and look at it you still can see the twists that i made when i installed it here you can see that here but if you look down here the smoother side as i said that interlocking was done at right now my hair is a combination of twist and interlock and um, i think that's all the update there is right now there's nothing new about the hair um so far the good thing about it is how i just get up and go it's something i'm very grateful for because when i had my loose natural i just can't get up and go i have to still do something with my hair before i can walk out 
or it means I have to put in a protective hairstyle so I don't have to do anything to the hair when I wake up. It was just too much. But with this, I can just get up and go. I'm trying as much as possible not to style the hair, not to manipulate it because it's fresh. It's still locking. It's not done locking. I don't want to unravel anything or delay the process of the locking. So now I just get up and go. Mostly this is just my look every time. There are a few times where I style it up and push the size of the hair up a bit. I made a video on that too. You can watch it here. Okay, that I do this. But even with that, when I return home, I notice that the size that I go up tend to look much thinner and stretched out than the other sides. So I tend to notice that that is going to delay the locking process. So these days i don't really put the hair up in any kind of style i just leave it like this and just go oh there was a time where i had to put on a wig for a program i just put on a cap a wig cap and then i wore the wig i didn't um i didn't cornrow or twist up the hair because i was trying to avoid that thinning out i just put on the wig cap on it and then I wore the wig and I thought it was going to disrupt how the wig was going to look like, but it was still fine. And when I go home and I took off the wig cap and I just fluffed out the hair, everything just came back to normal. And I was really happy about that. It was looking um, like how it was before I wore the wig. And that's nice. So now there are times where I also wish I had like braids or like I could change my look. But I'm unable to change my look right now. I think this is going to be how I'm going to look like for like the next year or so. Until when I know that the hair won't unravel anymore. And they've almost or like they're halfway through locking. <laughs> so right now my only challenge, my only problem or something that bothers me a lot. Is that because of how tiny the hair strands are. I need to retie get retied quite often because i noticed that the bases of the hair tend to join or like the hair tends like mats with each other and if i don't get retied quickly enough they are going to combine by themselves in a haphazard manner and i'm trying to avoid that because yesterday i was looking at this side i don't know if i can still find it oh okay it's, it's all gone but it, see this side right this okay see now this is one lock but it was combining with another one somewhere here i'm not sure if it's clear yesterday i tried to pull them apart but yeah they, they kind of like mat with each other the ones at the front and the base of this side don't do that but the back the back is the problem they tend to be locking and matting with each other and i'm trying to avoid that um, if i do it by myself i can't finish in a day so that's why i need somebody and so far there's only one location i've been able to find that um it's a bit more caring or that it pays more attention to sensitive scalps like mine but they're kind of busy. They don't really get time um, to match my work schedule. So right now I'm trying to look for another loctician so that if my first loctician is busy or can't make it on the day that I propose to them, then maybe I can try it at another place. I so far haven't been able to get any. If you know any loctician that is good with good and patient with um, interlocking tiny hair like mine, please comment down below or you can just share this video with somebody and tell ask them if they could interlock my hair i really appreciate that if you could link me to somebody who does if you newly installed your hair and you're also a few months into your lock process how is it going for you so far let me know tag me i'd like to read your comments or um share with me some pictures how your progress has been going so far um, if you're in Ghana, especially, and you have tiny locks like mine, share with me your experience, how your loctician has been treating you so far. Has your hair been unraveling? All of that, just let me know. Um, I'm on Instagram at IamBlackEnna. It's the same username as my um, YouTube <laughs> username. So you can just look me up. I'm on Twitter as well, the same name. 
um, you can look me up and then just send me some photos or videos that you want me to see to help uplift my soul <laughs> and not make me go crazy <laughs> with all these problems all right so um i really appreciate it if you do and share my video with others let's see how others are thriving in the law community i appreciate all of you thank you and i really have to go to work now so i'll see you in the next video